Hey guys, welcome to Music Greatness. My name is Eli, and today we're going to learn Love by Nat King Cole. Here's how it sounds. All right, first let's talk about the chords that we have in these sections. What I just played was the intro, verse, and chorus. We begin with G add two. G in the bass, G, A, B, D in the right hand. Then we move to G sus four over A. You can also think of this as an A minor 11. G, A, C, D in the right hand, and A in the left hand. Then they have this G11, G and F in the left hand, B, E, F, A in the right. Then we have C major seven. Really this is also C major nine because we have the D. C in the left hand, B, D, E, G in the right. Then we have A9, A in the left hand, B, C sharp, E, G in the right. going down to D7. D in the left hand, A, C, F sharp in the right. Then we'll have a C sharp diminished. C sharp in the left hand, C sharp, E, G, and A sharp in the right, or B flat. Then we have D flat over E flat. E flat in the left hand, A flat, D flat, F in the right. Then we have E flat seven. E flat in the left hand, G, B flat, D flat, E flat in the right. Now I will play for you the chords while I count so you can hear the harmonic rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome, now you know how the chords move with these sections. So let's actually break down how to play it. Here's the first two bars of the intro. In the right hand, we have D going down to G, A, and B. Then we release quickly and land on the exact same notes except with an E on top. G, A, B on the bottom. Then we move the E up to an F sharp and play A and B in the left hand. And we move the F sharp down to E. And the left hand is going G, D, G, D. So that right there is the intro. Then we get to the verse. And the verse begins with 
two bars of this exact same thing. Then we play the same rhythmic pattern, but instead we're now on the G sus4 over A. We play D, then we land on G, A, and C with a quick release. Then we land on this A minor 7 inversion, G, A, C, E. Move our E up to the F sharp and play A and C beneath. Then move our F sharp down to E, and this creates an A minor chord. Left hand is now going A, D, A, D. So this happens for four bars. Then we're back to G. Now we have our G11. The bass stays the same with G and D, but now we play on the top. This is G, down to a quick B, D, and E, landing on B half diminished, B, D, F, A. Then we move the A up to a B, and move it back down to an A. Bass is going G, D, G, D. Now we're at our C major 7. Here we have in the right hand, G down to B, D, and E, release quickly, land on B, D, and E, and A, move the A up to a B, and back down to an A. And the left hand is going C, G, C, C, D sharp E. The rhythm here is one and two. C, C, D sharp, E. So I'll just play those couple bars, both hands, really quick. Now we're on our A dominant 9. And landing on D7. So right hand here is playing G down to B, C sharp, and E with a quick release. Landing on B, C sharp, E, and A. Then we move up to this C sharp half diminished voicing. Down to A7. And then we play D7. And our left hand here is going... That's A, up to E, up to A. Then we delay for just a short, brief second. And we play A back down to the other octave below A. And lead up to D with B, C sharp, D. One and two and da. Play that one more time. One and two and da. da, da. Now once we land on the D7, we just play one, two, one, two. So we have this little lead in back into the chorus on D and F sharp. Then we land on our chorus. And our chorus begins the exact same way the intro and the verse did. To the A minor 11, or G sus4. Then we do our G11 again. Now this time when we go to C major 7, our left hand is slightly different. So on our right hand we're still playing G, quick release on B, D, and E, and then landing on B, D, E, A. But our left hand is going one and two. 
C, G, C. Then from here, we move to our C sharp diminished. We play our C sharp diminished for one beat, and then we take off the B flat. One and two and. And in the left hand, we play C sharp, E, G, C sharp. So those two bars together. Now we're moving back to our G add two, but it's over D. So we play quick release on G, A, B after playing the D. Land on G, A, B, E. Then we play this open sort of D7 voicing. F sharp, C, F sharp. And then we move the F sharp on the top to E. And the left hand is going D, E. And then in underneath this D7 voicing, we play an A up to a D. Now here for these last two bars leading into the solo, we have an interesting little modulation. First, we play again the G add two, just like we've been doing the whole time. Landing on E. Then we move up to our D flat, to our E7. And in the left hand here, we're playing G, down an octave G, B, D, E flat, E flat, F, F. And that's underneath. Play that one more time. And then we're into the solo. So let's recap what we just learned. I really hope you enjoyed learning this first part of love. If you'd like to access the rest of the course, head over to musicgreatness.com.